One small business that is showing their in-it-together spirit is Catherine Trifoletti Design. With the slowdown of their production of unconventional uniforms with unmistakable style, they've pivoted and are now producing face masks. This part of our studio is our showroom. And this is where we have casino buyers come into our shop. We offer them a really great lunch. Um, and then we, uh, we start over here. This is our uh, spa and housekeeping. Catherine Trifoletti's chic uniforms are worn by team members at many of the top casinos in town. But with dealers, valets, servers, and nearly every service industry not working, her inventory remains on the rack or in limbo. We can't ship to our casinos, which is our largest business, casinos and hotels. So that ha that's hurt us because we've ha we have orders that are ready to ship, but the warehouses are closed, the, sh the loading docks are closed, we can't go to them. Um, and then they're asking for delayed payments, which is really difficult for a small business. So while her team is unable to take care of their biggest clients, She's thinking small and proactively by reaching out to her overseas suppliers for material, then designing and manufacturing a garment that uses much less fabric than casino uniforms. So we are now able to manufacture fabric masks and we use filters and a metal inside the nose grip um, so we can supply them to people in the community. And, um, and what's been really great is, you know, Vegas people always uh, support each other and so a lot of people have come out and supported and bought a lot of masks and um, and that's been really great that we can also help the community. Catherine and her crew are making masks available to the public and have given away their product to local veterans and nonprofit organizations. These are very popular. So we're selling to individuals can come in and we do curbside pickup they can pick up masks um, and we're also don't we've donated to LGBT and also we're making a big donation to the uh, VA uh, hospitals. We did like a camouflage mask. During their busiest times, a dozen or more sewers are bobbing and needling. So we can have up to 18 girls sewing, two doing quality control, and a full-time cutter when we're really rocking and rolling. Okay, so I'm gonna do one for every style. But right now, it's a three-woman shop with Annie handling supplies and accounting, and Mary uses her lightning seamstress skills to produce hundreds of masks daily. Miss Trifoletti is grateful the property's landlord has deferred the April rent. She buttoned up her shop for a couple days at the start of the COVID pandemic, but then she knew she had to stitch together a patchwork squad of employees during these tattered times. It's funny. So I told the girls to go home, you know, because everybody was scared to come into work. But you know I can't not work, and that's just not an option. And plus, what do I do at home but bake and eat? And so that's not good. So, then, um, so I said, you know what, let's go back. Let's, let's be tough, and we'll just keep social distance from each other. We'll wear our masks. We keep the doors clean. We have gloves for people who come in who don't have them. If our delivery people come without masks, I give them masks. For more information on how to purchase one or a 100 pieces of fashionable facewear, go online or call 609-220-4498. Curbside pickup is available at the studio located at 900 East Karen Avenue, Unit 120D.